free for all. Hey guys, what's going on? Take no prisoners. My name is Bradley, and I am back. Fucking getting killed in Modern Warfare 2. Um, you know, didn't really do a live com last week online. Personal choice. I'm not gonna play a game if I don't feel like playing it. There's not much point in doing so. Because your quality is gonna be both shitty. Oh, it's got stuff. Oh, your quality's not gonna be shitty. Your content. People will be able to tell that you don't enjoy it. And, um, that's not. That's what I didn't wanna happen. You know, I. Didn't want people to be like, well, you're obviously not having fun with this. Try not to camp. Try not to camp. I knew there was a guy out there. I mean, sometimes there's nothing you can do, really, is there? Shit! I knew where I was hiding wasn't a good spot to hide. I knew it, but I went there anyway. Whoa, that was fucking fail by me, wasn't it? You know what? Sniper lobby, so I need. Fuck it, here we go, high spike ratio. I need to swap out my gun, and I know what I'm gonna swap it out to. Enemy UAV spotted. You. 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 Okay. This doesn't give me enough of, of a. ADS time to get the kill. Well, well, there we go. Okay, okay. Okay, she's gonna go down. Got my noob, noob gun out. I got my UMP. Fuck! I suck. I suck at this game, and I'm gonna get flamed for it. I don't really suck at this game, but I suck at this game. What the fuck? How are these guys getting the drop on me, man? Yeah, I got a kill! Fuck that. Jeez! I can already tell it's gonna be one of those frustrating games where. You know, everything just pisses me off. Redonkulously! This game started off so well. Hmm. Anyway, there's something else I want to talk about. Yes! Commando. You know what, fuck it. If everyone's sniping, I'm going to snipe. And I should have seen that. Should have seen that. And I just got fucking spawn rate. Look at this. Yep. Dude. 
Anyway. I want to talk about one of the biggest debates in today's modern times. Fucking where the G18's a little piece of shit. Fuck. And that is religion. Because my work colleague made the argument to me that without religion, that without religion, our world would have no morals. And that, and now this is why I find ridiculous that religion has brought our morals into our world. That's me fucking painkiller. Ah, oh. this game makes me rage. So yeah, apparently, religion in all its might and glory has given us morals, and that is why we don't murder people because of religion. That's why we don't rape people because of religion. How the. You know what, I'm not even gonna... I was gonna say I'm not gonna let this game bother me, but... <sighs> this game's broken in so many levels, it's not even funny. How the fuck did he know I was even there? And yeah, so, yeah, with that religion, we'll have, we'll have no morals, everyone would just rape and kill each poor. And with that, apparently, atheism, then atheists have no morals. That was his main point of argument there. And then, I'm an atheist, I don't believe in God, I don't believe in any higher power above us because, quite frankly, we're here on our own. And, you know, you're free to believe what you want to believe. I'm not going to force my opinions down your throat. But if you try and force your opinions down my throat like he was, then, you know, I'm just going to try and demolish you as much as I can. And then his second argument on this was that the first... Not the first atheist, but one of the lead atheists. He said his name. I have no fucking idea who he is. Probably because he's some dude that Christians use in an argument to point prove a point that is relatively invalid. And that is that this guy believes that sex with minors should be legal. And then so therefore, every atheist apparently believes that sex with minors should be legal because this one dude has this crazy theory. And then my, this counter, this counter argument from him was just... completely ridiculous. I mean... <laughs> Damn it. I mean, come on, like... I, I, I don't know, it just frustrated me. To, for him to pinpoint everyone's... Like, according to his... theory... Everyone who is Muslim believes that suicide bombing is a way to get into heaven. Everyone who is fucking... I have no idea. Like, his... I don't know, it's just so weird. It was kind of like... To the point where he then digs himself a grave for all those priests who, in high positions... I don't, I don't care about this anymore. All those priests in high positions who feel that sex with minors, who have sex with kids, you've seen them, they're on the news, they're everywhere. Those people don't stand for the head of religion in any way. People don't go, hey, that guy is having sex with minors, so therefore every other Christian has sex with minors. No, because it's complete and utter bullshit.
And that's just one of the things that gets under my skin is that because of one person, because of one person who's in some form of power believes that one thing that is morally wrong. Sorry, I'm just stretching. One person in a higher power believes something is morally right, which should be morally wrong. Does not mean that every other person who believes in the religious value of the same guy believes in the same moral values of the same guy. And that just brings me back around to the point that atheists have no morals. Morals don't come from religion. Morals don't come from a higher power. Morals come from what you know to be right and wrong in society, in any form. You learn this as a kid, you learn this as you're growing up. You learn what to do, what's right, what's wrong, what you should do, and what you shouldn't do. Religion has nothing to do with it. Religion... Religion could teach you... Could be... Could taught... Blah, 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 blah. Religion could have taught you anything. Given some of the bloody, um... Accusations that people say religion teaches, but... I'll tell you this now, religion teaches you one of two things. Not one of two things, I'll tell you one of two things that religion teaches you. I'm just going to start another match because I'm just going to keep talking. Let's do this. Religion will teach you how to look down on others. It'll teach you how to shun others for not believing in the same God as you. Perfect example of this is in primary school, if you don't want to be involved in the RE class, then what are your options? Your options are to sit out the front of the classroom, by yourself, out the front of the door, and just sit there. You've got nothing else to do. This is from my school, for example. They don't give you anything to do, you're just meant to sit there. Like, that right there is pulling you out of the group saying that you are not normal for not believing in religion and outcasting you like some kind of rat, pretty much. And that is what I find, that's one thing I find pretty, pretty disturbing. Because that, at a young age, is very impressionable to children. Very impressionable to children. And they will see that, you know, if, whoa, if I don't believe in this, then... Holy shit, did you see that commando lunge? What the fuck? Yeah, so if they're like, if I don't believe in this, I'm going to be shunned for... For whatever reason they end up thinking up in their head. And you know, it's just, it's ridiculous. Another thing religion will teach you to do is to be afraid of everything in the world. I mean... You know, half of the shit seems to be a sin. I mean... I don't know, it's it's really hard topic to touch on for the fact that you can get flamed so easily from critics, from religious fanatics. I was taking a sip of my orange mango water. From critics, from other fanatics, from just anyone pretty much who believes in God. And, you know, I don't walk around with a fuck your God shirt on, my, on me because, you know, my nan is religious, um... Half of my family's religious, and <laughs> I remember I went to a um, family reunion and I was wearing a Suicide Silence shirt, which is a band if anyone didn't know, and the middle part of the shirt had a inverted cross on it, and I didn't realise because I like, saw this big pattern, and my nan saw it and um, you know, she took me aside and said, told me about all this stuff, and I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, honestly, I didn't really care, I mean... There's so many things I'm gonna go for to hell for, <laughs> pretty much, you know. Uh, I'm there, you know. I've I've booked my ticket. I've prepaid my accommodation. I've got a cozy little room next to Saint Satan. It's gonna be joyful. It's gonna be joyful. Um, should I may as well finish this game off. Hit my God. Nothing new there. And I read this article also from. A couple of days ago, it spoke about 
how the religious interpretation and how times have changed, how from the Old Testament to the New Testament have changed views on religion. Kind of like... Mm, wow, wow, wow! Kind of like in the Old Testament there was no reference of a heaven. Yet, in the New Testament there is. Same as with the Holy Grail. Apparently this great big cup that Jesus drank at the, um... I need this for my montage. That he drank during the... fucking last supper. There is no big deal made out of the Holy Grail. There's no... When you... If you ever read the Bible, there is no big deal from the Holy... From the Holy Grail then to the plate that he was eating off. To the food that he was eating, there's nothing. I don't... And... Where it come from was a crusade from King Arthur. Searching for the Holy Grail, which... Was... Thought to be a cauldron which could do something like... I don't know if it was like keep you young or eternal life or something like that. But it's just something that not many people know yet many Christians hold high as a high value for some reason when they don't even know half of the backstory. So that's my rant. Fuck Christianity. I'm not going to play the rest of this match because this is going on for a while. Hope you enjoyed. If you're Christian, I'm sorry. You know. 70% of Christians will not bother, will not bother me in any way, but there is that 30% which ruin it for the rest. Hang on, let me try and get it. <laughs> oh, okay, fuck. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Sorry if I offended, I don't know, if I offended you, but you're on my channel at the end of the day. And I'm going to speak my mind. I'm not going to dumb this down for anyone just because you might be a little bit offended. You know, I use vulgar language. Fuck, 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 cunt, cunt. I talk about religion. I will point out my views. I will not sit back and be like, oh. Yeah. <coughs> I won't sit back and be like, oh. I don't know. I don't know if I should say that because someone might be offended and someone. <coughs> Sorry, I got sneezed again. And someone might not like my video. Well, fuck it. If you don't, you're not making the content that you want to make, then you know you shouldn't be on YouTube. And that also comes for the fact that <coughs> sneezing. People, if you make the content you want to make, people will come to your channel for that content. And with that, I bid you a good day. And I'm about to fucking sneeze again. <laughs>